Problem number three is <laughs> our guilty pleasure movie. This is my favorite fucking movie of all time. I don't care what anybody says. I literally told my wife, I said, we do a guilty pleasure movies. What's my pick? She said, two, one, foo. Thanks for everything. Julie Newmar. All right. You can't tell me you got a better movie with Wesley Snipes, John Leguizamo, and Patrick Swayze in drag. All right. This movie's great. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I love this movie. This is literally my number one movie of all time. People might not think, it's not everyone's cup of tea because it's a movie about dudes in drag. And there are plenty of people in this world who are uncomfortable with men in drag. So it's not for everybody. But I love this movie. The comedy in this movie, the relativity in this movie, it's so good. And it's it's interesting to see three, what, what, what were quintessential manly men, Wesley Snipes, Patrick Swayze and John Leguizamo. And Leguizamo was kind of new at this time, but it's interesting to see those three men drag queen. So it's it's such a good movie to me. Oh, sorry. It's so good. I love it. That's my pick. So I've never seen it, but I've seen like memes from it, if that makes sense. Like small, I, like essentially like I've always saw like Wesley Snipes and drag like in memes and shit like that. I never knew where it came from. Like I knew the movie existed. I just never watched it. Finally watched it. It's a good movie. It's a it's a decent movie. Um, I definitely see why you love it. There are definitely some hilarious moments in it that I'm just like, yep, this is why I picked the movie. <laughs> like I could pick out the moments. I'm just like, yeah, this is why. Um, overall, it's super dope. Um, of course, you know, it's a movie it gives you a happy ending at the end. It's all cool. I thought it was funny. Like I didn't, I wouldn't mind. Like party's over. You're like. All right, I'm about to put this movie on. You can go or you can stay. I probably would stay. Like, <laughs> probably just stay and watch it with you. Um, but I can definitely see why this is a guilty pleasure because I can see a lot of people being like, if you don't turn this shit off, like, I can definitely see some people not taking to this movie that well or not getting the humor or not like, because it's a now the movie's a little bit older. So they also may like be like over and like, you know, it's a little dated. Um, it was super ahead so, of its time too at the time of its release because drags weren't like drag queens weren't. I was thinking that as soon as the shit started, like, widely I was accepted. Like, oh, oh, okay, so it just starts out from the rip, like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was oh, just yeah. like, we don't transition or nothing, like they're already queens. Yeah. Like, so <laughs> that was very interesting. Um, yeah, it touched on a lot of topics that people still talk about today. So I definitely give give it points for that. I I like this movie. Yeah, like I said, I was staying watching it. So. Uh, wearing clothes normally worn by the opposite sex. That's what dressing drag is. So, that's what makes sure... That's the definition they give you in a movie. Hmm? Wearing clothes normally worn by the opposite sex. That's that's the definition of, of literally dress in drag. Uh, so, with that also being said, White Chicks, <laughs> Rent, Mrs. Doubtfather, Joanna Man. And also Priscilla, but I'll, I'll get to Priscilla, Priscilla later. These are all movies that were were men dressed in drag. I agree. So if you have a problem with this movie, you don't have a problem with any of those movies I just mentioned, something wrong with you. Tell them, Dre. This is like the three main characters. All of them. All right. They they are in drag like ninety five percent of the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. see that little part at the beginning where they're actually getting ready. So it's like ninety nine point nine percent of the time they're in drag. <laughs> so I I love Two One Food. That that shit's hilarious to me. Uh, it's fucking funny. I listen. I I I would say this, and I'm gonna say it for a whole world. I mean, once it's out in the internet, it's out in the internet. I'm gonna say it. I uh, when I won the national belly tournament for poker uh, in 2017, I went to go see a drag show. I want to go see a drag show. And then I went to talk to one of the drag, uh, or people that dressed in drag. I asked him, like, listen, man, what, what made you do that? Because I, I, was, I was curious. Uh, he said, man, he said, man, I got a wife and kid at home. I'm not gay. I just, and, and I make 90000 a year. Bro, yes. You give me 90 k a year, I'll put it on a thong. You, you, got to, <laughs> you, you got to think, I'll, I'll put on a whole thong and, and a heartbeat. I'll put a whole dress on. You give me 20 bucks, I'll put on a thong. <laughs> so... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> So, so then my two one fool is then, and now I'm not gonna base this off of being an asshole. I'm gonna be all that with the, but how I felt about the movie. Um, and a lot of people think that this is based off Priscilla. Now, Priscilla was, uh, it was, it was uh, made around the same time. I actually think it was made maybe a month or two before two one fool. However, if you haven't seen Priscilla, 
go watch it. It's a really good movie. Priscilla touched on a little bit deeper, uh, like uh, issues more more deeper issues than Two One Food did. Uh, but however, Two One Food is still hilarious. I fuck with uh, Patrick Swayze. I fuck with Wesley Snipes. I fuck with Luigi. I mean. I mean, uh, John, <laughs> John like Wazamo. He made Luigi. He made Luigi in that horrible fucking Mario. That movie. horrible Mario Mario how, Brothers. How, movie. How, how, oh, I forgot he was Luigi. Yeah. How, 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 however, but people don't realize though, he actually. So, the thing about John was John actually played drag a lot in New York. Mm-hmm. He, so he was comfortable in his role. He he did a lot. If you if you've ever seen John looking, go on YouTube, look it up. It's fucking fantastic, yo. Uh, so he played a lot of dragon in New York. So he was comfortable in his role, and he, he played good in his role. This this movie is fantastic. Everyone should go watch it. Uh, I, I like it, um, and you shouldn't be ashamed of, to, to like this movie. I think this movie is funny as fuck. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, you know it was like oh now I'm not saying you know, it's the best movie, but uh, I fucks with it. I, don't know, I think it's hilarious. Uh, I and I remember I remember having a conversation with my dad. You know, we, you know, we were talking about I mean, he's like, yeah, we were flipping through channels, and he's like, "What the fuck? What's his next address?" I'm like, "What? I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this is, but I'm about to watch this." <laughs> he's like, you want to watch? It? Sure. Like that was the first time I watched it. <laughs> like yeah, it's just like, hey, what the fuck? What's his next address? Okay, I gotta see what the fuck this is. That's so you know, like, awesome. Yeah. It was, oh man. Oh, we uh, we laughed our asses off. It was it was fucking amazing. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm like, oh, this this is. I do you know, it's a good pleasure, but I think this is a really good pick. Uh, it's a really good movie. I love it. <laughs> to uh, real quick before we move on to the next one, to piggyback off of it, for those who obviously have been watching the show, you know that me, DeAndre, and CJ live in or around the Portland area. And Portland has the world record for the world's oldest drag queen in uh, Darcel, who also is the world record holder for the longest running drag show at Darcel Showcase downtown. I've actually seen Darcel. I don't know if anyone else has. I went to Darcel's on my 21st birthday. That shit was fucking amazing. It, I had the time of my life. Look, there is a stigma around a lot of people that are in drag that people that men who do drag are always gay. And that is not the case at all. Um there was a long period of time I actually considered going into drag because I, I'm a beautiful ass woman. So I don't give a shit. And my wife was going to support me, but I ended up not going that route, but it, it's, I, I want the stigma around drag Queens to be lifted because these are people it's, it's a job. Period. Point yes. blank. Oh no, it's more of a job. No, it's a lifestyle. Exactly. And I'm sorry, but I, yeah. one of my, one of my, one of my go-to, one of my guilty pleasure TV shows, this might be a topic for a later episode is RuPaul's drag race. Oh Let's yeah, I, I forgot to say that RuPaul was in the, in the movie. Exactly, yeah, that's my note. So RuPaul in the movie. yeah, RuPaul. Listen, like, this is such a good movie, and please, please take the time to go watch it because it it arguably is one of the high points of drag culture, and it, it needs to be watched by anyone who has any sort of respect or fondness for the drag community. Um, and if you live in Portland, go see Darcel's show. She's she's ninety years old, still doing drag. Ooh. World's oldest drag queen. So support her. Uh, literally, uh, I think in like t- a year ago or something, Darcel Showcase, the actual place where she hosts it, became a nationally historic monument, like to be preserved. So my movie <laughs> is nowhere near as um, culturally iconic. Nothing's being preserved. A lot of people hate this movie, which is why it's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> Or not, not necessarily hate, but they're just like they think it's corny or whatever. I don't care. My guilty pleasure movie is 13 Going on 30. Let's start by saying that 13 Going on 30 is the reason why I was like, you know what? I need to learn the full choreography from Thriller. Thriller. Like, it just, <laughs> I was like, if this situation ever happens and I can't jump into the dance floor with everybody else, I'm going to fit and be mad. So I fixed that shit immediately. And now I'm ready for the rest of my life. So thank you 13 going on 30 for that. But for for I like the concept. Like when I was a kid, there was nothing more I wanted than to just skip the rest of the shit and get to the adult shit. Um, and so it's, it's like a very not so great version of exactly why that's a bad fucking idea. <laughs> and it's a stupid wish um, and so much about how like we lose so so much of the stuff that makes us dope when we're kids as we get older like we just become these like 
just nothing like shadows of like what your younger thought, you know, younger self thought you were going to be. Um, with that being self, you said, you know, reality is reality, it is what it is. But I love this movie. I don't know why, I just do. Like, and those candies that they eat, Razzles, they're real. Like, Razzles. They just, like <laughs> you can buy those. It just, it's, it, for me, it's one of those feel good movies that I can watch when nobody's around. Um, I have others that I like, but I, they're more popular. Like, there are certain movies that I don't mind putting on and going to sleep to. And the other ones, a lot of people will watch. Yeah. Hamilton, Black Panther, Black Cinderella, 13, not 13 going on 30. Well, 13 going on 30 is on the list. Um, the Devil Wears Prada. Almost all of those other movies, people would be do- fine with. But this one, this one, people no likey. And so that's why it's my guilty pleasure. I watch it by myself. And you can judge me if you want. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I'm going to do the good. The good, the good stuff about it. Uh, shout to the young Hawk. Shout to the young Captain Marvel. Is okay. she in this too? Yep, yeah, she is. Too. Shout out to like uh, if, if you do like any like guilty pleasure women that I will I will bang. Shout out to Judy Greer for some reason. Uh, you know, for some 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 reason like I don't know why. <laughs> I am so with I am with you on that one. I love me some I Judy don't, Greer. I don't know why though. I don't. I mean, I, 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 I think it was her time on uh, Two and a Half Men which got me a little bit. But for some reason, Judy Greer can can get it for some reason. Uh, oh fuck yeah! Yeah, for some reason. How? how, how <laughs> I love men. I can't yeah. quantify why. Yeah. She can get it. She can like, get it. what? Uh, yeah. however, no, I think you know, I think she's really cute. Yeah. However, though, uh, Cam is right. I despise this movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do. I'm not going to lie to you. No, and it, it, it's not that. It's like I hate the body switching movies, like like different body movies, like uh, Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. Oh, uh, great movie. Big Seventeen. 17 again. 17 again. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, hot Chicks. I mean, I mean, Hot Chicken Mint with... Uh, uh, oh, with yeah. Rob Schneider? With Rob Schneider. <laughs> I'm, 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 not, I'm not the biggest Wait, fan. Wait, do you even hate the 17 again with uh, T- the Maoris? So I, so I don't remember that one. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember uh-huh. that one. They did a 17 uh, again? Yeah, they, they, went, they, they, they did a body switching thing too. I, I, it was I, before I the Zac Efron 17 yeah. again. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Yeah, but however, I'm, I'm not a big fan. Like, all, I've, I've seen every last one of these, and even when uh, like our very, very, very first episode that we had two different co-hosts on that, uh, one of our ex co-hosts talked about Big, and I, and I hated Big too. Like, I, I said, it, I said it on podcast. Look, I, I hate Big too. Like, uh, it, it, I didn't like I, don't like. I don't like these movies at all. Just, just, just me. I mean, it, you can love it, but I, I listen. You, you say you love I do. You can watch. Do you actually watch that? I'm gonna laugh in your fucking face. Yeah, I actually like the premise of this movie. Yeah, it's it's got some funny parts, but yeah, I'm not. I was never a big fan of it. I, it's more about uh, Jennifer Garner. Like, something about her that just annoys the fuck out of me. Yes, CJ. Like, thank you. Like, every yeah, every time I see her on the screen, it just takes me out of the whole. Oh, movie. oh, just, oh! I, know. I don't know what it is. Oh, I do. I can't pinpoint I it, but it, it was, just annoys me. It was Daredevil the movie and, and Electra the movie. Fuck <laughs> 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 you know, even before yeah. that, just just see it. It's like yeah, you know. Even when I see her on commercials. I'm like, I don't know what it is. Like. You annoy the piss out of me just looking at you. <laughs> like, I, so, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. She, for now, think about it. She, like, one of my favorite, like, top 15 movies is Juno. And she's the worst part about Juno. Now, now, think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Garner, man. I'm telling you. She's like my but, fifth favorite Jennifer. But I don't know. It's just, no. Everything I see her, it just takes me out of it, see her, because I just get frustrated. But, yeah, you know, so yeah. Um, I think I'm my not movie is the movie. guiltiest of all pleasures. Fuck this movie. Yeah, it is. All right, listen. Dre <laughs> took... I'm not going to fucking lie to you. Dre took all my good points about this movie. The bad point about this movie, Jennifer Garner. I can't stand Jennifer Garner as an actress. I can get behind the premise because I don't I don't mind the, the body switching movies. I liked 17 again. I liked uh, Freaky Friday. But... Love body switching movies. Especially, I like Freaky Friday, the Chris Brown little dicky song. Um, so, but no, I just hate this movie because I can't stand Jennifer Garner, period. Alias was trash. Uh, Daredevil, <laughs> Daredevil was trash. Electra was trash. Um, anything Jennifer Garner does to me, trash. 
So we're gonna leave it at that. Yeah, I went a little different with the uh, guilty players on. Um, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. With the whole, yeah, was, I was thinking something different when you said when you said guilty pleasure. I was thinking something totally different. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because what were you? Yeah, there was some, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't remember. I think it was half sleep. But uh, yeah, no, the movie I picked was Sing. Yeah. I know. I do. I love. I love anime movies. Yeah. and this is one of my favorites. Now I literally still watch this like it leaves like once every couple weeks. So I gotta get my singing in. So, and yes, yes, I sing along with all the songs. You know, and I jump up down and cheer. Uh, it takes me about three, maybe four hours sometimes to watch it because I'm I rewind the fuck out of that motherfucker. <laughs> but, uh, I, I absolutely love this shit. <laughs> You know, I've been yelled at many times to shut the fuck up or to fuck up, calm the fuck down. Yes, this shit yes. fucking gets me. Fuck you too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, this shit, no. I mean, listen, ooh, I'm watching this thing. I start getting hype. <laughs> shit is fucking amazing. It's, oh, it's, and I was going to say, if, no, if they would actually have the contest at the end, me and would have won, hands down. Kelt it. Kelt it. Literally brought the house down. Girl. Get it. Yeah. I love to see the innocent side of you. It's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, no murder, death, kill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sorry. This shit is fucking amazing. CJ, I can't fuck with it. <laughs> yeah. I, I fucking I fucking love this movie. I have two kids. We watch the shit out of this movie. Uh shout out to uh fucking Scarlett Johansson for doing a decent cover of uh Shake It Off. Shout out to Tori Kelly, one of my my, I love her. One of my favorite singers of all time, Tori Kelly, being Mina. Yes, she should have won. Uh, shout out to the ever talented Seth MacFarlane. Um, and then shout out to Taryn Egerton, who a lot of people don't realize who that is. That's a dude from Kick-Ass who uh, sings fucking the, my favorite rendition of I'm Still Standing ever. Um, yes. Oh, my goodness. So, yes. Listen, this movie is fucking fantastic. It is so good to me. I'm, I can't wait for the next one. CJ, I, I literally. I thought it already uh, came out. Nope, no, the second one has not come out yet. Um, I wish it did. Um, oh yeah, no, I already be on it. Heard of it, never seen it until now. Okay, sat down, watched it. It's great. I absolutely see why everyone was talking about it. I see why everybody loves it. It's super dope. Um, it's like a um, animated cutesy time like uh plot for like rock of ages like just bring together a whole bunch of songs that you love bring together great people to sing them for you it's, that's a good comparison um yeah. and so i see why you picked it um i also see why it's your guilty pleasure because you don't like to be cute and innocent around people like you, <laughs> <laughs> you wait till everybody <laughs> We break it down wall, like, CJ. Like, we break it down wall. I feel like I picture CJ as CJ, and then I picture like a kid CJ that when no one else is around, it's just like <laughs> 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 it's just like, but we don't get to access that CJ because you can't, because big CJ comes up like bitch back up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so and I'm not mad at it. You must protect yourself. Um, but that's what I picture. I picture like the kids like this right now, where you kind of can't stop smiling right now, like this one. Like, yes, <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> my fucking blushing. <laughs> yes. Like this, so like, I picture like I could see like had this come out years ago, I could see <sighs> CJ watching this his whole life. Like I can still like I can see this and being his thing forever. Um, and I definitely am not mad at that. This is probably gonna go on like my list of things to watch for my nieces and nephews from now on, or just by myself. Uh, my only annoying thing about this is yes, it ends happy and that's great, but these stupid bears ruined the whole thing. All you had to do was let that little mouse die. Okay, he ended up being <laughs> almost caught at the end anyway. Like you didn't, you saved him maybe like a couple weeks of life. Like, like <laughs> him and his little girl from probably dying the second one. Oh, uh, so like <laughs> that bear was still there. I watched it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They thought they got away. He was still on no, the No, you wouldn't have heard his rendition of my way though. If they would have killed him. Yeah. Listen, listen. The rendition yeah. was dope. He was seeing right. great the whole movie though. So like I get it again. But the the thing with the movie is it's not it's animated. Anybody could have did it. 
Like, like uh, everybody they could have just switched it around. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> to make it happen, however. <laughs> I love the movie. The movie is great. I understand why it's a guilty pleasure. That part is just always going to piss me off. Every time he just says, here, take it. And he don't make them get off the stage before they smash it. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. <laughs> it's glass. <laughs> You're walking yeah. on glass. You let these three big old bears come smash stuff. Uh, I need I need to say this first be- before because this might start arguing with me, Evan. However, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Taron Egerton. Taron Egerton. What didn't play Kick Ass? That was Aaron, Aaron Taylor I didn't Johnson. Kick Ass. You I? said you said Kick Ass. He played in Kingsman. I probably thought that's, Kingsman. That's that's what I meant to say. Yeah. I meant to say Kingsman. My uh, bad. I meant so, to say Kingsman. My bad. So I'm sure everybody know that. One, uh, I didn't watch Sing until after that episode of the the worst. Uh, the best breakup breakup songs we had, uh, and that was actually I think, the first time we met Cam. Uh, and uh, Joe picked I- "I'm Still Standing," um, and then everybody raved about uh, about uh, T- Teron doing "I'm Still Standing," and I-, and I wanted to watch the whole thing. So I watched the whole thing. Sing is fucking amazing. It, it really is. Uh, I love this uh, this rendition of "I'm Still Standing." This is, this is a great rendition of Still Standing. This sparked a lot of things too. So he, so Sing Two is coming out December twenty second of this year. Uh, he's also going to be doing. So and with that being said, after Sing, he did Rocket Man. They, 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 he, he they, listen. Rocket Man. Yeah. He said, like, listen, you, you can do this. You, you can pick. You, you can sing Elton John very well. You can play Elton John. And then he's going to be Seymour in the remake of Little Shop of Horror. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's he's such a talented yeah. actor that people do not so, give it credit. Like he's so good. So so I, I feel like he would probably play a better Seymour than uh the original. I'm not saying it's be a better movie. But he, probably, he might he might play better because he can sing, he can, he can yeah. sing better. Oh than, yeah, sing better than he will. And then yeah, because, he could not sing that well because, because some some of those with Rich Miranda, what, 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 what name was Scott Rick Moranis. Rick, Rick, Rick Moranis. Some 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 notes you know he couldn't hit. Like <laughs> suddenly see more like, like that, that, that song. I love that song, but he couldn't hit them on notes. <laughs> all right. So that's what I'm saying. Uh all no, I do love the movie. Um I do love the movie. The movie is fantastic. Uh will I watch it? I want to watch it on a special case if y'all like if y'all make me watch it or somebody said let's watch it. I won't say no to it, but it but I would but I wouldn't go out and look but you'll watch Sing Two when it comes out. Probably not unless unless you'll make me. <laughs> so I guess I'll we're making him. We doing yeah, a I'm we doing it. a masturbators presents movie <laughs> reviews. No sing two. Yeah, I'm, I'm best animated sequel. I can't wait for the I can't wait for the new Star Wars movies to ever show up because we watching them for the movie reviews. Uh, I forgot to do my honorable mention. I have one. I'm gonna uh, the Chipmunk Adventure. The what? I'm gonna the Chipmunk Adventure. That's an older old, one, right? Old, old movie. Yes, mm-hmm. the, the original Chipmunk movie. I can't do anything. I'm sorry. I will fucking throw my TV up the wall. I can't do anything with chipmunks in it. Why? No, no. no. This is the this is the no. This is the old school animated one. Gotcha. Uh, Where they go? Yeah, where yeah, where they fucking fly? They get tricked. They get tricked to fly trips around the world. Uh, The songs are fucking awesome. But Uh, I get I I get drunk and watch this movie at least once a month. So I have some. I have some honorable mentions. All right. Uh, I have four of them actually. Um, four. Oh, damn. damn. One is the sitter. Not a lot of people like like the sitter. Uh, I love the sitter. This, this shit is fucking hilarious. Uh, it's it's big, big. Not Seth Rogen, but it's big. Uh, uh, what's the fat kid? the fat kid from um from uh from uh Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Oh, Jonah Hill. Yeah. Oh, you know movie talking about. And he's not fat anymore. No, but he was. That fat shit was funny as hell. He was fat anymore. No, no. All right, but he, he he dropped so much weight after that though. Uh, and then uh, th- thirty minutes or less. With Aziz, Aziz Asaria. Based and on a true story. Fucking, I did not know that until know like either. later. Yeah, it's based on a true bombing story. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Michael Sarah's in that as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Surf Ninjas is another. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Surf, Surf Ninjas is another. Uh, <laughs> I love Surf Ninjas. Listen, even to this day, Surf Ninjas is a kid movie, but even to that, I listen, you play, you put on Surf Ninjas, I'm, I'm crossing my legs Indian style like this. <laughs> like, what <laughs> 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 All right, and 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 the last one, me, I mean, is Grease Two, Grease Two. God damn it, Grease Two is not a guilty pleasure. 
if, if to, it's not, no, no, to, to me it's not. <laughs> but however, if anyone of y'all still says it to y'all, Grease 2 is better than Grease 1. I said it. You can fight me. Grease 2. Thank you. That but you said it all the time. You be saying it like it's the first time you said it. Like, you say this but, once a month. Just saying. You know, he finds a reason every episode is trying to say it. things I can depend on in life. Grease 2, comic books, boondocks. T-shirts. 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 Uh, <laughs> um, being a hoe. Yeah. yeah. Whole story. Cheeks. Yeah. Cheeks. I love it. Cheeks. Yeah. Clapping it's cheeks. So Clapping home. cheeks on a balcony. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 well, sir, just make sure your back and knees are still good. Somebody, uh, I, I would I, hate I to be the person it. who gets the hotel. All you gotta do, all you gotta do, <laughs> all you gotta do is bend her over in the, in the guard room. I would. No, first of all, first of all, I would all, hate to be the person in the room there, next to him. Please don't go. I know. Don't don't fucking don't, don't you just like all you gotta do like, yeah. you know, like give me a wally give me a wally yeah hey <laughs> let's get to your hey. choice let's okay. get to your choice no, it's getting no, late. Hey, no. I'm, I'm saying no make sure you don't do the cheap one dude because if that's like a rail break you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> no uh, I know it's really fucked up and Dre this is not in any way funny but if the rail is cheap please for the love of God just yell Hillary. Will you? <laughs> 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 I'm not you in any way, of course I love you. But in the only chance that you know your name is in the death notebook, <laughs> go out with stop for me. <laughs> Oh, she gonna be puke. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. Oh, uh, my pick. <laughs> my pick is uh, the Princess Bride. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I'm gonna top that shit, but I mean, God damn it. <laughs> uh, listen, I don't know what to say. Listen, the Princess Bride, uh, Andre, <laughs> Andre the Giant. Uh, um, the guy that played in uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights, I forgot his name. Uh, and and he was uh, uh, Despero in one of Evan's favorite uh, TV shows, and Psych. Fucking Pierre Despero, Pierre baby. Despero. Carrie Elwes. Uh, <laughs> I think that's true. This movie. Hey, he's been uh, a lot of stuff. Yeah. He's, this, he's a well traveled actor. Yeah. I didn't realize he was that old. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, this movie is a classic, and the only reason why it's a good person to me because there's nobody in the hood that likes this movie. In my hood, uh, no, he's not. I was say. In my hood, in Philly, like the movie. I let I, listen, I tell my, all my people all the time that I love this movie, and they laugh at me or call me gay. So, so, so this because they ain't actually seen it. Yeah. The title kind of sounds gay. Yeah. Person. Yeah, not gay, gay. No, to not to offend people, we're actually gay. Yeah. What Philly people call gay. <laughs> so, so this is this is why it's my my kitchen pleasure. I love this fucking movie. I didn't even know it word for word, um, and I I don't mind watching it at all. Uh, it's actually be it's low key funny as hell. Like low key, like it has some really really good parts that that, that make you that's hilarious to me. Um, and. Yeah, just a really, really good movie. Cam just took all the wind out of my cell, so I was like, I can't let <laughs> I'm sorry, we weren't even talking about movies. Uh, no, I know, but <laughs> shit. Right. It was just side uh, conversation. All right, look, all right, for anybody who knows me, my movie watching uh, and where I watch movies, I usually watch them on uh, incest. Like if you know, if I'm gonna wa- if I'm gonna watch a certain movie, I'm gonna wait, watch. Wait, 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 wait. Back, that up. back that up. Back that up. He said, said watch in you watch sets. it. In, in sets. sets. Oh, you, you sounded like oh. he's part of the royal yeah. family. Now, if I want to see like the part two of a movie, I will watch the first one first. I watch the first one, then the second one. You know, then you know, if there's a, a, a trilogy, oh, I'll watch all three. I do that all the time. When I, when, I, when I watch, you know, when I, would, when I watch the Harry Potter movies, I watch the first one to the last one. Um, that's two movies. That's now, torture. there are no, there are certain movies that I actually watch together. You know. I routinely, uh, you know, in uh, these three, I watch together like routinely, like all the time. It's uh, the Labyrinth, yep, Willow, mm-hmm. and Princess Bride. It makes sense. It does. Yeah, mm-hmm. I watch. Yeah, you know, I watch those three consistently. And don't need a lot of Labyrinth. I, I hate that damn puppy, yeah. that puppy dog, whatever that shit is. That shit is fucking what? eerie. No, like the Princess Bride is. 
I think it's phenomenal. It's, it is hilarious. You know, sometimes the, you know, some of the jokes, you know, you know, some of the jokes fucking it will miss some people. But I think I think it's fucking great. You know, I can I know it on word for word as well. Uh, I yeah, fuck them old. I, I've been watching since it came out. <laughs> I've been watching it since it first came out. <laughs> like, you know, of course, Andre the Giant, dude, that's the shit. Uh, and fucking the whole inconceivable, inconceivable. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think you know. I don't think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> 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 Do? This, uh, the sword and the sword fighting is fucking great, and I love there's some good sword fighting scenes. And I don't know, I I just think the whole thing is fucking awesome. Uh, uh, I don't care what anybody says, I'll tell my folks straight up, yeah, I watch this. Uh, uh, <laughs> shout, shout out to uh, um, and rest in peace to Andre the Giant, yo, one of the best performances by a uh, professional athlete in a movie, period. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I love this movie. I do. It's a classic. Um, it has one of the most quoted lines in all of cinema. Hello. My name is Hinego Montoya. You killed my father. You killed father. my father. Prepare to die. Prepare Prepare to die. die. So, um, it's, it's a classic movie. Carrie, Carrie El- um, he's, he's, uh, he's a fantastic actor. Like I said, like the under said, he's Pierre Despero in Psych, one of my favorite TV shows. Um, this movie is, is great. Um, I don't know if anyone had caught that little mini series that they did right at the start of quarantine where all the celebrities were acting out at, like scenes from the princess bride. And they had like one where like Jack black is crawling up the stairs and it's the inconceivable part. And it's the, the cast from the office are like, you keep saying <laughs> yeah. that word, but I don't think you know what it means. Uh, shout out to uh, Robin Wright, who was the princess bride and when, who Robin oh, yeah. Wright, right, right. Is, uh, she, she's going to say it. She's going to let you just say it, but she was Jenny. And Forrest Gump. Go ahead, see it. Go ahead. Yeah, she, she was the hoe. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, no. Yeah. So so this movie, it, it it's a classic. It's it's one of the better movies, um, according to a lot of people, in, in the history of cinema. Um, and like like DeAndre said, it's one of the better performances by an actor uh in a movie. Shout out to anything Dwayne Johnson did that's just over the top. Um but no, it's 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 a fantastic movie. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, I believe there is a thing on Amazon where it's the hundred movies to watch or something like that, and it's a scratcher. This is on that list. So if you haven't seen this movie, please go. If you haven't seen any of these movies, have you been living under a rock? But if you haven't seen any of these hey, movies, hey, I haven't seen any of your movies. <laughs> like, got to watch all. Cam, of have you been living under a rock? Well, apparently, I have been living under a rock. It's okay, Cam. It must sorry. be a nice rock. It's a nice rock. Is it, if, are you living under Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Everything. I wish. Do you know Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock, rock Johnson is the reason I used to be able, we used to work on being able to move both my eyebrows. Somewhere along the way, I lost the power, but I used to be able to do both of them. I, I had heard about it, never seen it. I actually told my friends I was watching it because it was on in the background of a video chat and they were like, what are you watching? And I said the Princess Bride, and they immediately started quoting shit. And I was just like, "All right." And they could tell by my face that I hadn't seen it yet. They're like, "All right, you haven't get to that part." Um, but it's it's a movie again. Heard of it, knew it was great, just hadn't never got around to it. You know how it gets. Like you can't watch everything. Dope movie, super hilarious. Like I completely see why it's been you know something that everybody loves and is on you know list of 100 movies to watch from Amazon and all of that good stuff. I definitely see how it got its uh, reputation. Um, it is super funny. Rest in peace to Andre the Giant. Um, yeah, it's it's a funny movie. I definitely don't know if it's um, a guilty pleasure though. Like, cause so many people love it. Like, that's why I'm just like, I don't know if that's like, it's, CJ be saying stuff that's guilty pleasure. I'm just like, this ain't your real guilty pleasure. So that's the only thing. But I definitely am glad that you guys made me watch it. Man with the six fingers, the whole uh, famous line, the whole as you wish. And then her dumb line <laughs> falling right behind him. Why, Why did she just walk down? Like, that is, the movie, anyway. Yes, I never said We're not going to get into it. We're not going to get into it. The movie's hilarious. Um, she's stupid, but the movie's hilarious. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just don't don't see 
it being necessarily like a guilty pleasure, but don't move. So Robin Wright's in this movie and she was in uh uh Forrest Gump, CJ. Oh, Okay. Also, uh, <laughs> also, uh, also, she was in. She's in a lot of movies that people don't want to like. Don't really think about. But if anybody has seen Beowulf, she was in Beowulf. The animated one. The animated yeah. one. Yep. And what? It, yeah, she was in Beowulf. Oh, sure. Right? She was. She was in. She's. Oh, she was in uh, Justice League and Wonder Woman, and she'll be in the Snyder Cut of Wonder Woman as well. Snyder Cut. Oh, was was Justice she League the well. was she the mom, or like the uh, like the queen? She, yeah, she was the queen. Oh, yes, she won. So number one for me, I'm definitely going to watch 13 going on 30 again and again and again. I am going to watch second Princess Bride again. That's definitely going to happen. Third for me, third for me is Sing. Um, It was cute. I like it. I probably will watch it again. Um, And then the last one is... uh, the one with the long title. I'm sorry, Evan. I can't do that. Two one two. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to even say. It was dope to watch, but I don't know if I'm gonna be like, oh, I gotta see it again and again. It's just yeah. Number one, two Wong Fu. Thanks for everything, Julie Newmar. Number two, my I can't fuck with her. The episode sing. Uh, number three, Princess Bride. It's a classic. Number four, fuck Jennifer Garner. Thirteen going on thirty. <laughs> sing number one, Princess Bride. Number two. Two on food, number three, and uh, fuck Jennifer Garner, number four. Yeah, one Princess Bride, two, sing three, uh, two on food with, with Luigi, and four is uh, 13 going on 30. Because again, if CJ ever want to say it, fuck Jennifer yeah. Garner, fuck Jennifer Garner. Uh, so stay tuned next week where we'll be doing the worst Harry Potter character. The best hot dog topping and the best stand up special of the 2000s. Also, stay tuned for our next movie review where we will be doing Predator, the 1987 movie of Predator. Okay, so you're doing the original Predator. The original Predator. Yes. With the bad. Uh, not, not, the pre- not Predators or not the Predator, just Predator. <laughs> and that's that's the one with Arnold, right? Oh, the, oh, the, yes. Uh, get down. Yeah, this. Yes. Get to the chopper. No, I, I said no because I feel like Predator should be the movie about the guy, um, the booty warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Couldn't go a whole <laughs> episode without a boondocks reference. No. <laughs> the easy way, or we go oh, hard way. Make your choice. With that being said, my name is DeAndre Robinson, and these are my friends. Say goodbye, friends. Uh, once again, uh, it's Evan Hamataki. And if it wasn't said enough during this episode, I'm gonna say it again. Fuck Jennifer Garner. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think this was said at all in the episode or any episodes, but just in case it's not known, the booty is mine. It belongs to me. <laughs> My booty. It's your boy CJ, aka Chucky Trucks.